everybody, it's Mrs. Waring and young Tom here to read you a story. Um, Tom came home from nursery with Octo Pants, which is a really nice book that he was given as part of the free book scheme from the government. You lot should, from nursery, should also have been given a book to take home. We got Octo Pants, so that's the book that we've decided to read, isn't it, Tom? Okay, Octo Pants by Susie Senior and illustrated by Claire Powell. Hello there, I'm an octopus. There's something you should know. I don't have any underpants. I've nothing on below. I tried to buy some octopants. I tried all over town, but everyone just laughed and laughed and answered with a frown. Underpants for you, they said. Oh no, we don't have any. The problem seems to be your legs. You've just got six, too many. And I'll just show you a picture of him going to try them. And he's got those six legs. No octo, octo pants for all octopus. I've even tried to shop online. I've tried to surf the net. I found a cod for <coughs> tuna and my credit card got wet. Oh dear, Tom. I still could not find octo pants. It almost made me cry. There's pants out there for everyone, except for octopi. And look, there's pants for pretty much everyone. There's a stingray there, but none for the octopus. But then one day I found a place I hadn't seen before. A seahorse hovered just inside the huge revolving door. And look, it says, under the sea emporium. And there's the seahorse waiting by the door. Ooh. Wonder if you'll have any luck there, Tom. Good morning. Can I help you, sir? Why don't you step inside? My undersea emporium is famous ocean wide. I have bubble hats for barnacles and evening wear for eels, onesies for urchins, and slipper socks for seals. Jewelry for jellyfish, water wings for whales, and rainbow paint for a rainbow trout to smarten up their scales. Oh, yes, I've got clothes for everyone with spots and stripes and rockets, pirate ships and sparkly bits, and lots of handy pockets. Look at the shop, isn't it fabulous? Wow. It's got all sorts there for everyone, hasn't it? Yeah. Now, underwear for you, sir. I think you've been misled. Perhaps you don't need octopans, but something else instead. And then I saw the problem. I'd looked at this all wrong. These legs weren't legs. These legs were arms and had been all along. Hello there. I'm an octopus. But now you might have guessed. I'm still not wearing any underpants. I bought an octo vest. Let's have a look at the octo vest. Sweet, sweet, look at that. Doesn't he look cracking? What do you think, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> and that is the end of that one. Perfect pants are hard to find for someone shaped like our octopus. But maybe it's not octo pants that he needed all along. We enjoyed that, didn't we, Tom? Hope you did too. Take care. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>